I mean, I think the, the thing with Pinot Noir is it's, it has fruit and it has tannin structure, but it's, it's more restrained and kind of dialed back. Um, and it tends to be more, uh, more kind of slow and layered, you know, where you like, you smell it, you take a sip, the flavors kind of come in little waves across. Um, so you don't actually, you know, like we talk about how we make food friendly wines, but in many ways Pinot Noir is a wine that you should drink by, by itself because it has so many layers and so many aromatics that come in and out. It's really, it's an interesting wine, but it's also hard because then I'm going to go into like what we do in terms of the making. <laughs> You're looking at me like you want to kill me. No, I'm not. <laughs> but no. like we make eight di different Pinot Noirs, so it's hard to say what is Pinot Noir. It's this really interesting wine from this vineyard and it's this cuvee that's so pretty over here. So yeah, it's, it's, it's more like, than a beverage. I mean, like I think about, so I, I think about like our Stoller Vineyard Pinot Noir. It's all about bright red cherries, currants, going into this funky forest floor finish. If I think about um, like the Hershey Vineyard, it's this big dark fruit, chewy, chewy rich, um, and that's, that's the fun of Pinot is you get this big spread and that, but that's, you know, I mean, that's like from the consumer side, that's the, that's where, uh, you know, as much people like to bag on reviews and review, you know, winemakers like to bag on reviews and reviewers. Um, for Oregon Pinot, the, the site de defines the style so much of the wine. It is kind of important to, you know, talk to, you know, go to your small retailer who actually knows the wines and they, you know, they can give you an idea of this, this Oregon producer versus this one versus this one versus the big style from California. You know, I mean, it's a... Which um, is also very delicious. Right, which is also very delicious. It's just a different thing.